Hey y'all, Eric here with a, another one. I know it's taken me a couple weeks to get another video out to you, but it has been, well, a busy couple weeks. We had a little virus come through the house and uh, it's just been busy with work. So I appreciate you holding tight, but there has been a lot that has been going on in the lawn over the last couple weeks. Uh, I've gotten some video clips, but honestly not enough to put together I guess a high production video. So what I wanted to do is get one out to you, just uh, kind of a coffee talk sort of thing because I did uh, have some challenges with insects in the lawn um, and a little bit of fungus, but today we're gonna focus on the insects. So with that, let's get right into it. So about two weeks ago, I was mowing my lawn, uh, specifically uh, the backyard, and as I'm mowing, uh, it literally, it feels like I'm running over popcorn kernels that are popping everywhere. And, uh, these bugs are, are falling in my lap. I noticed that there were a couple black beetles, not very many, but uh, a bunch of spittle bugs. Uh, I did not know they were spittle bugs. Uh, what I did is I um, looked at them and uh, saw that they were these little black bugs with two red orange stripes on their back and, and looked them up online. Uh, I also noticed that the grass, um, even though I have been watering and mowing frequently, um, looked like almost there was some dry spot or some brown spot. I also noticed there was a little bit of gray leaf spot in certain areas and some uh, molting of, of, of leaves. Uh, not, not really browning, almost a, I guess a purplish color. I don't know what else to call it, but there was definitely some damage going on. Um, so in my head, I'm thinking, holy smokes, what's going on? Um, and I figured, well, we know there's uh, these spittle bugs. Uh, I looked up spittle bugs and uh, they are definitely a challenge, especially in centipede and St. Augustine grass. So being that it's the first time that I've ever dealt with them, uh, I had to do a bunch of research, wanted to share that with you. So spittle bugs are very common in St. Augustine and centipede grass. The reason being is that the way the grass grows, there's just a lot of areas where they can hang out and munch on our lawn. Um, the reason why they call them spittle bugs is because they uh, kind of choke and spit when they eat and it creates this little little foam. Now, I did not see any of that in the lawn, but there were thousands of these bugs in my lawn. Um, so they can definitely do some damage. The little foam that they produce uh, can cause disease, but also they eat the grass. So uh, I knew I needed to act quickly. I went online and I've seen some other folks on YouTube uh, use do aside. Um, unfortunately, uh, my local Lowe's didn't have it and uh, I went to Amazon to look for a bag and it wasn't gonna be here for like five or six days. And I said, well, that ain't gonna work. I'm not even gonna be able to sleep at night if I know these things are much on my lawn. So I ended up going to Lowe's and picking up some uh, bio-advanced uh, complete insect killer. Um, and I, I learned a lot about both products. So I figured, you know what, I'm gonna do the bio advance because I could get it that day, that morning in the backyard and I'll do the do aside in the front yard and I will document the progress and see what I think. Now I picked the bio advance um, because it was at Lowe's, uh, but also uh, I've uh, when I did my research that this can also provide season long control if I provide uh, or if I apply at the two pound per thousand square foot rate. So. I have about 3,000 square feet in my backyard. So I did uh, weigh this out to about two pounds um, uh, per thousand square feet. So I've added six pounds to my spreader. Now I will say uh, that they do not have an echo spreader um, uh, setting on here, but my suggestion is, is put this on the lowest setting that your spreader can take. Because when I went to I went to two, um, it calls for 3.25 on Scott. So usually I can go down a full notch down and that'll usually be about right. Um, I did that and even through the first 10 yards of pushing, I could tell that it was just coming out way too fast. So I would just slam it to the lowest setting and then adjust upward. I'd rather go back and forth across my lawn several times than release my product and blow, <laughs> blow my entire load, you know, through, through the first pass and not have enough and oversaturate on one side. Um, the stuff was really easy to spread um, and uh, I watered it in about a quarter inch to a half inch uh, after I applied. 
the next morning, uh, and I applied at like 7.30 in the morning. The next morning, um, I went outside and I'd seen some reviews where there was a bunch of kill off and you could see a bunch of bugs that were dead. I did not experience that, but what I did experience is that when I walked through my lawn, it didn't feel like I was walking through popcorn. Um, there were still some spittle bugs um, around the day after, um, but not even close. I'm talking 90%, 85 to 90% of them. Uh, we're gone. Didn't see any black beetles either, which was really, really good. Um, and then the subsequent days, uh, day two, three, and four, and up to today, uh, I'm not seeing any bugs pop out of the ground. But also what I've noticed is uh, I don't have as many mosquitoes in the backyard either, uh, which is great because they were starting to really uh, get bad back there uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, and it does say that it calls, uh, kills mosquito larvae within, uh, within the grass as well. Um, it is safe to put not only on grass, but around your shrubs and things of that nature. And it does provide um, long lasting uh, support. At least that's what it says. So I'll give you all an update as the weeks go by and I'll let you know if the infestation uh, does return. But as it stands now, I mean, BioAdvance um, is, in my opinion, a great product. Uh, I would recommend it to anyone that just wants to run to Lowe's once you see an infestation and get rid of um, whatever pests you'd like to get. I mean, just, just on the front, it's, you know, ants, fleas, ticks, chinch bugs, mole crickets, uh, European crane flies, and, and uh, the uh, white grubs, which are basically uh, black beetle larvae, which I didn't see any of those, but if there are any under the, under the ground or were any under the ground, I'm sure that they're gone now. So I waited patiently for the Amazon delivery person to show up for a couple days afterwards. Now my front lawn was not as infested with the spittle bugs, but they were definitely there. Um, they were popcorning up, but not, not even close, maybe 50% of the infestation or less. Um, so I wasn't too worried about uh, them really getting into the lawn and, and ruining it over that four or five day period. Um, so I'd seen people use Duicide by the Andersons. Um, uh, this product is a little more expensive, not by much though. Um, so when I read the label, uh, I, applied at the four to eight pound per thousand square feet um, because that uh, is where they'll take care of the mole crickets and uh, grubs and things of that nature. Now, mind you, I did Google because spittle bugs isn't specifically um, pointed out here uh, on the uh, labels of either product, um, but I just Googled it and it said these would definitely take care of the spittle bugs. Um, Applied at the four pound, I went a little over four pounds per thousand square feet. I probably went about five. Um, same thing with this product. I just slammed it all the way down to the lowest setting on the eco spreader um, and uh, it seemed to work out just fine. Um, I watered it in. Uh, this stuff does have a smell to it. It actually doesn't smell that bad, um, but it does have a smell to it. So um, one thing I will say about both products is, is don't let your kids play on the lawn, um, you know, for the first 24 hours at least, um, just in case there is any any residual uh, that might affect them. So the next day, I went out to the lawn to check out to see if there was any kill off. Again, I saw online that, uh, oh, I saw a bunch of bugs on my driveway that were dead after I, you know, the next day after I used this. Um, I did not have that experience, um, but I will say that again, um, the next day I had maybe a couple of uh, spittle bugs that I saw, you know, popping around, but man, about 90% kill off. And, um, and even to this day, you know, a week later, um, I don't have really any bugs in my lawn. Now I don't know this for sure, but the way that this label reads is that, and I'll read it specifically, it reads, Application rates will only kill pests present at the time of applications. P pests must be directly contacted to be effective. So this product, the way I read it on the back, does not have a long lasting effect like the BioAdvance does. So you're applying this, whatever bugs are, uh, or pests are with, you know, within distance of, of being in contact with the product, are going to die. Um, it's not going to have a long lasting effect. Um, I will give an update, you know, through the weeks to let you know if, if and when um, these pests do return. Um, but I will say that had about the same efficacy uh, as the BioAdvance, but with the BioAdvance, I am getting 
that long lasting effect. At least it says per the label. Um, we'll, we'll see as I give you updates over the next couple weeks. So in conclusion, which product would I prefer? Well, for the ease in my, at my lows anyways, carries bio advance. They carry it in two different sizes. Um, and there's long lasting effects and it seemed to have the same efficacy as the Duicide. Uh, I would say the bio advance is probably a better bargain being that you get the longer lasting effect and the immediate effect was just about the same. So that's it for this one. Again, sorry for the late video, um, but definitely wanted to get this out because it was an experience. There was a little bit of an emergency feel to it because uh, the lawn was definitely, um, definitely infested in the backyard. Uh, if you like the content, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you to everyone that's already subscribed. It's really helping the channel out and giving me more confidence to get these out. And um, it's all the busyness that we all have throughout our lives and uh, really helps me. Please comment, ask questions. If you look, I respond to every comment that's made. Um, and I've gotten a lot of great questions um, about St. Augustine plug grows. That really honestly makes me feel good that, that y'all are engaging with the content that we're putting out here. So uh, without further ado, thank you so, so much. And we will see you on the next one. Bye now.